Alright, well good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi y'all. So welcome to uh, Monday afternoon. Happy Memorial Day to you. Hope everything's going good where you are. And that you're enjoying your holiday. <clears throat> I've got to go to work tonight, but that's okay too. And uh, we're going to get a little shave in. I just finished up a video, but not long before this, on the, uh, what they're calling the uh, Vander Hagen's Basics set now. So that video is already up and posted. So now we'll move on to the actual shave video for today. So uh, <clears throat> for today, we're going to get back to the morning toast that Dan made, Finish Life. And uh, we're going to do that with a big bore brush today, a big old Omega bore, uh, the brush that Tom made. Uh, got to try to figure out what would be a good aftershave to go with this soap. I don't really pair aftershaves and soaps, but uh, there was a discussion the other day and Florida water came up and I realized, boy, I hadn't used Florida water in a long time. And uh, it's a really nice citrus, of course. It doesn't really last a long time, but you'll still be able to get a little whiffs of it through the night and everything will be good. So uh, we're going to use that today. Uh, so also, speaking of Vintage Life, Dan that uh, you know made the morning toast and he's made some other soaps. He posted a video that I haven't had a chance to watch yet. Sorry about that, Dan. But I saw that you did it with a uh, World War One set with the uh, auto strop, and uh, I've got one of those sets, as a matter of fact, with the auto strop. Uh, mine's in kind of rough shape, but uh, if you open the flaps up, you can see it's got the auto strop with handle, a couple of blades, and then this is the also got the uh, the mare in it. Hey, look at there. There I am. How you doing? What's happening? But uh, so that's that set. Uh, I've also got a set that's got a 1914 in it. This is one of the early 1914s with the small uh, blade stops, but I've got that set. Somewhere around here, and I couldn't find it to do the video with, it's tucked away somewhere. I have one that has a Damascene in it also. So I've got three of these sets. And uh, this one looks, I mean, I don't think it's a reproduction just looking at it because it looks like what the real thing looked like. But uh, that is an extremely nice nice set there that the uh, 1914 is in but we're not going to use one of those sets today simply because uh, we've got something else to use uh, what we are going to use though is a 1914 uh, one of the fellows over at uh, at toast the original safety 2.com uh, was saying the other day that he didn't didn't have some razors and one of the ones that looked like he didn't have was a 1914 and everybody needs a 1914 come on the 1914 ever ready what we call the little leather catcher Although I don't count this as a lather catcher because it's got the top. Even though it does have the little, uh, I still don't call it a lather catcher. I'm okay with a little lather catcher. But uh, anyway, this one's in real good shape. The spring is still good and strong. This is one of the uh, the later models that had the, the full-size blade stops, kind of like a hook. The problem with the little blade stops on it was that uh, the way the head is designed, it could be hard to close. And so I guess that's why they went back and, and remade it. The blades have cut out on the sides and on the side of the razor is where the little hooks were that held the original blades. The original blades didn't have the cutouts on the side. That came along, uh, I guess, for the Micromatics, if I'm not mistaken. And then they started making the blades. So anyway, this one looks a little rough. The handle's in a little rough shape. It's definitely a user grade. However, the head has no plate loss and it's in really good shape. And like I said, the spring is really close, really strong. The uh, guard is straight. Everything sits in there real good. So this one's going to go to Toby. Toby C. from over at, at uh, the original Safety 2. Toast. So we're going to use, uh, you know, Morning Toast Soap, which is the limited edition soap from over at Toast. We're going to use a brush that was made by Tom, which is one of the guys over at Toast. He's one of the moderators. And uh, we're going to pair that up with some Florida water and some good, uh, you know, coffee and chicory, dark roast and chicory, French market today. Mm-hmm. In our Second Amendment, We the People Bug, I call it. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to see how all that works. I'm sure it's going to work pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I thought we were going to have the weekend off. You remember back sometime last week I said something about having the weekend off? Didn't really work that way. Didn't really work that way. So I got a call, and I may have already talked about this one, but anyway, I got a call Friday afternoon, and, and uh, Kind of on short notice, I was out at the Academy Sports. As a matter of fact, I was out looking at some stuff and I got a call and asked me if I could come to work. Somebody had been in a car wreck. Luckily, they didn't get hurt, but their vehicle did. Their truck got hit in the front and it busted the tie rods and all, so it wasn't drivable. So I worked Friday night. Well, I had planned on going to my sister's on Saturday. 
and uh, that was going to kind of be my weekend getaway. Go to my sister's and go out and eat and uh, play cards. Canasta, Spite Miles. I don't get to play cards anymore. We used to play cards all the time, especially when my, our mom was still alive. And uh, still really enjoy playing cards, but I don't get to do it anymore. So anyway, that was the plan. So Friday, I decided that a night of work was not going to interrupt my Saturday night plan. So I slept till about 1 o'clock, and I got up. And that's right, I did a video Saturday afternoon, so you've already heard that part of the story. Okay, so anyway, made it over to my sister's, and we went out and ate. And boy, it was good. The first time I've been to the Vietnamese noodle soup place, pho. That's how the lady there said it was pronounced. I thought it was pho, P-H-O, but uh, she said it was pho. So anyway, had some really good noodles and some chicken broth with all kinds of stuff in it. It was good. I would definitely be doing that again. Had a great time. Talked with my sister and brother-in-law. It was just outstanding. But we got back home. Boy, that smells so good, really. Good job on the scents there, Dan, by the way. The um, lime and ginger and bergamot. And uh, you see right there how we get that nice little cream on the brush? That's what we're always looking for before a shave, so we got it. So anyway, we got back to my sister's house, and we got to playing cards. And and then on around midnight, brother-in-law gave up, went to bed. And uh, Penny and I played to like 4 o'clock in the morning we were playing cards. I think I finally won a game or so. Took a while, but uh, but anyway, and I decided to come on home. I like driving, you know, I'm up at night, I'm an early morning guy, the traffic's light, that's when I like to drive, so I came on home. So I'm on the way home, and about 5.50, I'm coming across the uh, Shafalaya Basin Bridge. Now this is like an 18 mile long bridge that we have between here and Lafayette. And uh, I'm juking along across there, got the, radio playing and a little snowball and we're running along not a lot of traffic yet and the phone rings and it's the uh one of the supervisors from work the night shift guy and he says uh you planning on coming to work today i said no i'm not planning on coming to work today i'm off work today he says uh you're on the schedule I said, really so anyway there had been a schedule change and uh, Fuzzy didn't get the memo that there was a schedule change. So after being up all night, all the afternoon, I got up at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. I had to go work day shift yesterday, Sunday. I got there, ran by the, the apartment here and got into my uniform. And I got to the plant about, I guess it was 7.35, 7.40 when I clocked in. And I was there till 6 o'clock last night. I'm too old for that stuff. So anyway, that was my little adventure over the weekend. So my weekend off turned into a Saturday night off. And, uh, you yeah. know, there we go. That's just how stuff happens. Now the 1914, to get back to what we're doing here, is a great little razor. Really it is. And uh, it's not hard to find the angle. I don't think... You know, with the with the 1912s, just so happens I have one here. The angle of the head is pretty much your angle. It's not much different with the 1914. It's got a little more ro rounded profile to it there, but still, it's it's not a lot different finding the uh, finding the angle. Any of these razors, if they'd uh, if they'd have stopped production and all they were making were these and they were still making them, any of them would be really good. I'm not as big a fan of the 1924 models, but they still give good shaves. I mean, I'm not, I don't like them because they don't shave. It's just something about them I'm not a big fan of. But these 1914s do a really good job. And you get some, some nice audio feedback out of them. And I know some people think the audio feedback is because the blade's not held tight and it's blade shattered, and yada, 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 and they don't like it and whatever. I like hearing a blade work. If that's blade chatter, I'm okay with blade chatter. That's all I can say about that. So after the first pass, as you can see, everything smooths up really nice. Really nice. All right, here we go again. But the bad part about that was that uh, 
I had been looking forward to getting to go to church because I haven't been able to go in a while and visit with some folks that I don't get to see a lot. And that didn't work out because of the work problem. But, you know, works that way, I guess. Got to pay the bills and that's how it goes. All righty. Well, you'll notice how good the Dan soap is lathering here. Now, remember, we're not looking for buttercream. I'm not trying to make it into buttercream. You don't need to look like soft serve ice cream. That's for you, Primo. If you're watching this video. There's a guy over at Shaved In, one of my favorite people in the whole world as far as, you know, online shave people go. Primo Tenore. He's a bloomer. Gotta love him, though. He's a bloomer. Likes his buttercream. And uh, he was showing a video, or showing a picture from where he had made some lather a while back. And I swear, it looked like soft serve ice cream from the dairy bar. Piled up on the brush. It, it just did. And uh, I made a dairy bar comment and he commented everybody likes to go to Dairy Queen. And that's true. I don't get to shave. I don't need soft serve. Don't need Dairy Queen soft serve to, like I don't need buttercream. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Moving around. But anyway, I got to trade a few barbs with the Primo Tenore. Good guy. Really is. Really is. All right. But you'll notice. This 1914 just runs all over the place. Don't let the little shorter handle bother you, like I said before. Unless you've got hands the size of, like, I don't know, King Kong, something like that, you're not going to have any problems with uh, the size of the handle. The weight of the razors, not a big deal. I made another comment about that somewhere the other day. Uh, matter of fact, it was, it was uh, again, Primo. He's a straight razor guy. He's been building his straight razor skills, which is really neat. And someone was using a shavette that was a plastic shavette. This particular one was made by Tree. And I've got them that are made by uh, Lord. And uh, the comment was made that wouldn't want to use that because it being so light might have a tendency to press harder. It's not true. Not true. Uh, the weight of the razor is not that big a deal. It's where your technique and your skills come in. And everything adjusts. And that's, that's actually how it works. Because I'll shave with those light razors before and they're actually kind of fun to shave with. All right, now that don't mean you can't have a preference and prefer heavier razors. I'm not saying that. But if you say, I can't get a shave out of a light razor, that a light razor won't shave as good as a heavy razor, or a heavy razor won't shave as good as a light razor, that's where I draw the line. You're not, you're not correct there. The weight of the razor is not a big deal. I've got a barbed wire beard. All right, well, that don't matter. I've got far from a light beard myself. All righty, get a little of the good old witch hazel on here for our cleanup pass. For some reason, I must have been talking, not paying attention right here under my gills. A little bit rougher than usual. That's easy to fix, though. We'll just come across with a razor under there and make sure that we're doing what we need to do. Truth of the matter is, it could have stayed just like it was and nobody would have noticed it, but you can feel it with the witch hazel as you're coming across. Oh, much better, much better, much better. I'm down under my waddle here. All right, there we go. Well, Toby, this one's going to be coming to you as quick as I can get it to the mailbox. I never make any promises on getting to the mailbox. I, I was hoping to get there Friday. Didn't work. I was hoping to get there Saturday. Didn't work. Of course today's a holiday so it ain't gonna work so hopefully i work most of the rest of the week but i'm supposed to be off wednesday and friday this week so we'll see how that works out but uh hopefully wednesday i can get caught up on some stuff that needs to go to the mail so if you're waiting on something and you haven't got an email from email from me saying hey your stuff's in the mail well that's why <laughs> 
you know, it happens. So there we go with today's shave with a 1914 and a treat blade and soap by Dan there, vintage life, the morning toast soap they're calling it. Once everybody gets their soap in, I think we sent out, or he made a 13 and JR mailed them out for everybody. Ooh, I tell you what, that Florida water is some good smelling. If you like a good citrus burst, that Florida water is good. It's not going to last all day. I'll give it that. It, it's going to dry down, but boy, that's a good burst of flavor. But anyway, I think we got 13 of the soaps out. Quick as everybody gets their soaps, we're going to have this big old shave day on toast with everybody using it and posting it. It's going to be good times, I'm telling you. But until then, if we get them in, we've been using them some and everybody doing their own reviews and and everything and my review is definitely positive it's got a good nice light scent to it good scent lathers really well as you saw got a good feel after the shave i'm a fan of it good stuff all right y'all have a great day we'll see you next time i'm gonna finish up some more coffee and grab a shower and finish getting ready i've actually got clothes in the laundry i woke up early today because i had to wash uniforms and uh can't go with no nasty looking uniform that wouldn't work would it all right well, y'all have a good day i'm gonna have a good day and we'll uh, catch you next time Happy shades to you.